In this video, we will provide a basic overview of the Canary system, following the flow of data from the time it is logged until it reaches the end user. The Canary system is built around its historian, a proprietary NoSQL database used to store time series process data. The system can be divided into three general categories, data collection and storage, data contextualization, and reporting. Data is logged using one or more of Canary's collectors and is transported to the historian using its store and forward service. This service is responsible for buffering data to disk in the event the collector loses connectivity with its destination. Within the historian, data is stored in data sets, which act like folders to help organize the data that is collected from the various sources. Once stored in the historian, the user has the option of modifying tag names and defining assets through the use of virtual views. Calculations and events can then be created using the original or virtualized tag name to provide additional context. This tag structure is then made available to any client wishing to consume data from the system. Canary offers several methods for extracting data, including its main reporting tool, Axiom. Axiom is a web-based application used for trending data and building live dashboard reports. Canary also offers an Excel add-in, an ODBC connector, a .NET and a web API to integrate with third parties, and a publishing service for sending real-time data over an MQTT or WebSocket connection. In conclusion, this diagram provides a bird's-eye view of the path your data takes through the Canary system from the moment it is collected until it reaches the client.